Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sukara. This uh, video is for uh, uh, professional ethics students. So today's topic is right to practice. Very important as far as the budding advocates are concerned. Please remember, advocates are, they are the pillars of the judiciary and that's why they are called as the court of, court of officers. Only the advocate has got the right to represent his client in the court of law. That is the essence of right to appear, a right of practice. So, in simple words, once you have registered your name in the, sorry, in the bar association, then you are free to practice in any court in India. So, section 29 to 34, 33, section 33 deal with the right to practice. And in the meanwhile, section 32 is a little bit deviation. I will tell you all these things when the time comes. Prati present, let us discuss section 29 because it is most important. So, <coughs> article 19.1g says, it gives the right or fundamental freedom to practice any profession of their choice. So, as member of legal profession, definitely you are advocates who are taking this right. And section 29 specifically, so 29 of the Advocates Act 1961 makes the right of practice an exclusive right. It was written here, an exclusive right and precludes all other persons, that means who are not advocates uh, from practicing the law. Is it not? So this is the theory part. For example, in Rajamandri, I can't see the video number, I will get, tell you in the class if possible. A chartered accountant, posing himself as an advocate, practiced in Rajamandri court. Very recently, maybe two or three months back, he was arrested. He was uh, uh, put behind bars. Of course, he got bail later. So, he practiced as an advocate even though he is not an advocate. So, what is the punishment? So, maybe they have added uh, section 420 of the Indian Penal Code. But if you go to section 45 of the Advocates Act, there is a punishment of six months or so. Penalty for uh, illegally practicing in the courts. So, it is uh, an offense. I think it is punishable up to six months. So, in this case, uh, we are going to discuss uh, when the for whether foreign lawyers or uh, can practice in India or not, I will take it as a separate case because that's uh, we have to discuss in detail. So as regards section 29, you have to understand that lawyers are the only recognized people to practice in the courts of law, right? So we'll discuss a couple of case laws. D A S, D full stop, A full stop, S, yes, Swami versus Kubendran, K-U-B-E-N-D-R-E-N, Kubendran, 1967, right? So, in this case, Honorable Supreme Court of India stated that a person who is not an advocate on the role of the High Court has no right to represent the accused. Yes, that is what the section says. What is the great thing in this case law? Better to know the facts. If you go to the facts of the case, so, Mr. Kubendran, he filed a case of uh, 403 and 409 IPC, that is a uh, breach of trust and as well as misappropriation against a person by name uh, Mudaliyar or Kandaswami Mudaliyar. This Kubendran filed a case against Kandaswami Mudaliyar. Right, okay, Kandaswami Mudaliyar approached a lawyer, that lawyer appeared on his behalf. Of course, I don't know the reasons, uh, but somehow due to misunderstandings or uh, since Kandaswami Mudaliyar did not give him money, whatever it is, that man refused to be present in the court. Therefore, this Mudaliyar on 25, 1960, he has given a GPA, that means General Power of Attorney to our DAS Swami. Who is this DAS Swami? He is a lawyer but not enrolled. See the difficulty. Liar. Liar means a person who studied law. He is competent to give the uh, advice on these law, law points, but he cannot practice in the court of law unless he is enrolled as an advocate. Here, Mr. Swami is a liar 
who is not enrolled as an advocate now <clears throat> therefore <clears throat> since he knows the law he is representing mr kandaswam mudalayar as gpa so he wanted to argue the case but the honorable court even he wanted to appear the court did not allow him as he was not an advocate so only the advocates have got the right to practice in a, so advocates are only the registered class this you have to know second case <coughs> Nibaram Bora, N I B A R M. Nibaram Bora versus Union of India, 1991. This is a uh, case of Gauhati High Court. Gauhati High Court said uh, only advocate can practice in a court of law. Right? <coughs> Actually, there are certain people who know the law better than uh, I can say the advocates. We have seen one advocate while uh, in Chirala. I was a police officer. Uh, when I was attending the court uh, to give evidence, the man was beautiful organ. Of course, even he is a senior. That is, uh, he, this man is only a pleader clerk. He is a pleader. I think his name is Budhara Sashkar or somebody. I don't uh, recollect so easily. Uh, remember his name, but he was very efficient man in civil law. This man is vehemently organ, is beautifully representing. Then uh, I asked one of my friend. They said, yes, the court can allow any person to represent. There is no necessity for a lawyer. Oh, really? I thought, but after leading the advocate said, you will also come to know. But anyway, even though he is a pleader clerk, he was allowed because of the extraneous circumstances. But normally, the every other person, every person other than advocate also can be allowed, but they cannot practice as advocates. This is what you have to learn, right? Because of the habitual performance, he knows the provisions. He is uh, very adept in uh, uh, convincing the court also. But a non-advocate, please remember, although he knows the law, he habitually represents the court. He is a court bird, but he has no right to claim to plead for another. If you know this much, it is sufficient. So you have to <coughs> mention these two case laws whenever section 29 comes uh, as a question. Section 29 says, Advocates are only the recognized class of persons to practice in the court of law. Okay, with this I am concluding. In the next video, we are going to discuss section 30. That is also more important. Thank you.